Now the COVID-19 situation in South Korea. The health authorities have announced an update to the virus protocols that will take effect next Monday. They've decided to stick with the rule requiring infected people to self-isolate for seven days. That will stay in place for another month. But they are going to keep letting people make in-person visits to nursing homes, which had been restricted until last month. Song Yujin has the details. Should a person still have to self-isolate for seven days after testing positive for COVID-19? South Korean health authorities answered that question on Friday. The Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures headquarters announced that they will leave quarantine rules as they are until June 20th. Without quarantine, the number of virus cases could surge in June or July. Case numbers are expected to rise more than four times if people aren't isolating. Health officials will assess the virus situation, listen to expert opinion, and then make another decision next month. Also next month, middle and high school students will take their final exams. And even though quarantine measures have been extended, students who test positive or have COVID-like symptoms will be able to take their tests in separate classrooms. This is to ensure that all students can take exams under equal conditions. Those with loved ones at nursing homes or care hospitals will still be able to visit as well. In-person visits to nursing homes and care hospitals have been allowed temporarily from April 30th to May 22nd. Based on the country's stable virus situation and rising demand, visits will be available until further notice. Meanwhile, South Korea reported 25,125 new COVID-19 infections on Friday. That's down more than 3,000 from the day before, marking the second straight day that the tally has stayed in the 20,000s. There were 43 related deaths, and the number of critically ill patients stood at 251. Song Yujin, Arirang News.